Hello everyone, this is Eric Diaz. I wanted to make a video today to show you guys about a little bit more about the LinkedIn assignment. So let me share my screen and I'll show you what I'm looking for for this week. So this is what your assignment will look like when you take a peek at it uh, on Canvas. So make sure here up top it's written that there is, you have to actually submit your profile, but also I'm looking for uh, responses to two questions here. It says, uh, let's see, questions A, B, and L. Okay, all right. So I put a couple links. So if you don't have a LinkedIn yet uh, for any reason, this is a link just to sign up. And then here, this article, I'll click on it right here just to show you. That's a lot of good, uh, a, a good insights on, on how to create a good profile. This isn't exactly what I'm looking for. Um, I put you know, exactly in the Canvas task, but this has more, in, more details of uh, how to take a good picture and how to make a good headline, a lot of that. So this goes above and beyond what I'm asking, but it's really good information for you guys. All right, so building it out. So to receive full credit, you must have profile headshot, um, so add a centered headshot to your LinkedIn profile taking the last 12 months. So you don't want to have an old picture there. You also don't avoid a picture that doesn't focus in on, on a headshot. So it should be basically not, not just a, I guess, a silhouette of yourself, but it should be a close-up picture. So somebody could see it quickly, a small thumbnail of it, and then know who you are. Uh, relevant profile background image. And I'll show you an example of, of this in a minute. So you want something that kind of represents you. And then for both of these, you want to describe why you feel this image best represents yourself. So you're gonna do that for your headshot and you're also gonna do that for your background image. So those are gonna be 50 word submissions that you guys are just gonna add into, um, into this task when you put it in. Uh, relevant username, there's a link here of how to, how to change it. So this tells you what exactly to do. So just click on that, customize your URL. Basically, you don't wanna have, you don't wanna have your uh, profile with a bunch of numbers on it, something that looks weird. You want it to be personalized. So. You want it to be, you know, if your name is, um, well, let's see. Actually, I've got one of my student profiles here. So so I'll, I'll show you Zoe. So Zoe's one of my uh, recent students. And you can see her URL uh, is Zoe Holstein. So it's her whole name right there. Um, and I'm gonna refer back to this one because it's a, a good example of the things I'm looking for. But that's how you change it to be custom rather than just a, like a series of numbers. Headline, so uh, relevant, well-written, personal headline, 100 characters mi uh, minimum. So this is what I'm talking about right here for that. Um, you want to, uh, for your headline, it's not necessarily where you're working, but it's more about who you are. What do you want people to know in just like a, a quick snapshot of you? So I'll, t I'll test that for, um, for character count right here. So I'm going to put uh, paste that in Grammarly, and it's going to give me how many characters that is. So 76. So I think this this one's actually probably a little bit short. Usually I ask for a uh, hundred characters. So just make sure you use Grammarly so you can uh, have a have a peek at that and see how long that is. And then you want to do a bio description of 150 words. So let's see. This looks well above above and beyond 150, but let's take a peek at it. So this is just like a little bit of information about yourself. Um, kind of you. Know, how do you want people to remember you? How do you want to be described? Um, that's basically what you want to put here. So this one. This is 144 words, so basically we, uh, it's pretty close to what I'm looking for, 150. Um, but basically it talks about where she's from and uh, what she's doing now, uh, what kind of work, what kind of educational experience she's had along the way. All right. <clears throat> so that's the about. We also want to, you also want to add your education and your experience. So I'm looking for, so Phoenix College at a minimum, obviously you guys all go to Phoenix College because that's the class we're taking. Uh, list of your last three jobs at a minimum. Um, you don't put Phoenix College here. You, you talk about your actual job. So, for example, here you can see uh, experience. So for Zoe, she has uh, her last couple jobs, and it's not just a, a quick listing. She actually adds information about when she worked, what were the dates, uh, what did she actually do, what were the things that she helped her company do, and she has it for her last four jobs. She also has her education. So she has. Um, two listings for Phoenix College for di different degrees that she's working on and also Arizona State. All right, so that's education, skills and endorsements. So choose a minimum of three to add to your profile and then accomplishments, choose a minimum of three to add to your profile. So um, we got these skills and endorsements. So these are the ones that she added. And this gives the people the ability to, um, they can actually click on it and like agree with it um, and kind of endorsing who she is. So 
um, that's uh, <clears throat> that's how that works. Oh, and then there's accomplishments. So things that you want to look at are um, or what you want to you want to add into there. Are, um, anything that you you've done in the past, you want to add um, any of these uh, either courses, organization. There's a lot of different options for what you can do on this. So add those accomplishments, interests. Choose five minimum. So these are basically like companies or or people that you're following. Uh, could be your school, could be Phoenix College. Um, interests that that, uh, that so you'll see more of that content. And then there's an extra credit opportunity here for anybody that's interested. You can actually get uh, if you are able to get a recommendation from somebody other than a, a student at Phoenix College, then you can um, then you'll get about five extra points on this assignment. And then for a hiring manager. So after doing all this, the final thing I want you guys to do is take a look at your own profile. And if you were a hiring manager and you reviewed your own profile, why should they hire you? So I want 100 words about what it is that, they, that you want hiring managers to take away from your profile and why they should hire you. Very good. Uh, I have a few other links to inspire you uh, in this. And uh, good luck with your assignment. Thank you, guys.